all new PBS Parodies is coming up next. Viewer discretion is advised. Doing. <clears throat> Hello, son. Oh, snap, it's Sugar Knight, and she's small. <laughs> you my grandbaby. You can do no wrong. But your daddy, that's another story. We about to blow up. The following video contains content and or language which may be considered unsuitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. presents PBS Parodies 43 Ah, nothing like a good hot shower and shave to get you going in the morning. You said it, Dave. A shower a day keeps the grit and grime away. So what shall we do today? I feel like doing some PBS Parodies today. Great idea, Dave. So let's get on with the PBS Parodies. <laughs> Public Broadcasting Slippers Footwear for Public Broadcasters Slip sliding away You know the nearer your destination, the more you're slip sliding away. Paul Simon, 1977 Public Broadcasting Slide Programs recorded at the public playground Along with the public broadcasting monkey bars and jungle gym Ha 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 ha. Uh, low by low service. Blowing in the wind. Wind in the willows. Lower tree. Tremendous. Ninja wave. Way station. Station break. Breaking nudes. Nude breaks. Naked break. Oh damn it. Guess what, Sydney? What, Scotty? You just made the list! I hate to tell you this, but this is sus. sus. Here we go again! The Among Us references are back! But let's be honest. We don't care about the game Among Us, but the jokes from Among Us never ever die. Good thing there are no imposters here in our studio. Unless there are evil doppelgangers. Public breaking wall service. Timothy, you just broke the fourth wall. I didn't mean to. That's okay, Timothy. Everyone said their share of breaking the fourth wall. But we know how to fix broken walls, don't we, Dave? As long as we have concrete evidence. Awkward joke. Awkward joke. <laughs> Did you say concrete evidence, Dave? Lucky we didn't say anything about abstract evidence. Later, after Rhonda and Dave climbed out of the basement pool and took showers. This is Generic News Reporter with the Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. Special News Bulletin. Mount Patapoff erupted earlier today, resulting in a big tsunami that smacked the small island nation of Huampa. Luckily for the islanders, the new Rafflikan Defense Forces, led by General Alexander Venizelos and Lieutenant Kyle Serge, helped the islanders escape the destruction in rescue ships and transported them to New Rafflika for shelter. Rumors stated that the massive eruption was caused by an evil entity that went berserk after the death of her two daughters, but said rumors have not yet been confirmed. Taylor Bradford reporting. 
In the wake of her unexpectedly releasing the Troublemakers from the Infinite Losers Chamber in Punch Land, Juno has finally decided that the Chamber will become a timeout chamber rather than an indefinite confinement chamber. She stated that indefinite confinement is too hard for the Troublemakers and temporary timeouts due to their failures on their bad actions, depending on the situation, is better. I'm speaking of the troublemakers, who are still afflicted by endless torture. Kim Dice stated that they will not yet be free to roam at will. Rather, he, with the backing of the Prince of Darkness himself, will start a program to attempt to clear the troublemakers' minds before the Dark Forces can invade New Rafflica. We'll have more to come, as the situation continues to develop. <coughs> So Juno decided to make the Infinite Losers Chamber into a timeout chamber, huh? Yes, Dave. Juno knew that indefinite confinement would be very hard for the big bad troublemakers and may lead to their unexpected escape, so she changed it into a timeout chamber just to be fair. Not only that, the Prince of Darkness said that the old Hades, where Punished Land was built, is now a forgotten landmark. Good thing that our dear goddess thought very fast before taking action. Besides, if the evil forces destroyed Punish Land and reclaimed the old Hades back, it would be worse. I know, right? Speaking of worse, I heard that Mount Papatov had erupted and caused a tsunami at Hula Hoopa. Hula Hoopa? Where is Hula Hoopsa? It is a small country near the remote island where Mount Papatov is located. And that's where Evil Dave took me hostage. I know, Missy, but luckily Pedro, Cory, and I saved you from his evil clutches. You got that right, Terry. I also heard that an evil entity went berserk and caused a massive eruption of Mount Papatopov. Oh no, don't tell me. Yes, Rhonda. It was Magmarina Ash who was responsible for the massive eruption at Mount Papatopov. Oh my god, that infernal harlot wants us dead all, because we killed Volcana and Valcarona Ash for trying to force us to divorce. That's what we exactly see in our nightmares. Magmarina Ash will arrive in the studio and try to zap Rhonda, Wanda, Jean and Joya to a crisp in revenge for killing the Ash sisters, and even try to burn this studio to the ground. You know we, God Almighty, Juno, the Golden Dragon, the Heavenly Forces, and Unovian Knights will never allow such a calamitous event to happen. I guess Magmarina Ash is the toughest wicked troublemaker around so far. I agree with you, Natalie. If Magmarina Ash kills Rhonda, Wanda, and their mothers, it will be the end for the Sky Ace Forces. Which, as Dave just said, we will never allow it to happen. Can you guys cut it out? Why are you guys so scared of Magmarina Ash and her revenge plot? Yeah. We all know that Magmarina Ash is the toughest enemy we should face, but do you think we can cry like a baby in fear and do nothing? No, of course not! Listen to us, Rhonda and Wanda. You two are the strongest Sky Ace ladies that Dave and Astro ever met, and you have the advantage of taking down Magmarina Ash, even though she's a tough, wicked being. John's right. There is nothing to worry about and to be afraid of. We have God Almighty, His Angels, the Angelus Warriors, the Heaven Logo Alliance, and the deities of Arnova on our side to protect you both from that infernal harlot. You too, along with your husbands, Dave, and Astro, and mothers. TN Squad and the Heroes League 98 are always here to support all of you. As you asked, Eva, the place we're going to is... Dr. Dr. Tom's 3D, 3D Mansion of Waffles. Oh, Laryngitis. Ready PG-13. 